I want to show you how you can bring data that happens to be in the form of an image directly into Excel. So in this case, I happen to have an income statement from a textbook, and I, I scanned it, and I'd like to be able to put it into Excel so maybe I can do some analysis. If you're a student, you might be given, um, you know, you might be asked to do some analysis on some balance sheet or income statement or some other data that happens to be in the textbook, or your professor may give you a sheet of, you know, a piece of paper with data that's typed on it. I know these days a lot of stuff is in digital format, but you may have professors who've used the same data set for many years and they've just photocopied it and they give it to you. Now, I could type this in myself, that's not really a big deal, but Excel has a way to import this directly into it. So here, if you go to data, over here there's something that says from picture. And if I go in here, inside the files, I actually have several of these. I have a balance sheet, I have the income statement. I'm going to do the balance sheet. And let me say insert. And it's importing it in, and there it is. Now, it'll ask you if you want to review the data. So I'm going to say review, and it goes over each spot. That's, uh, I don't know what that is. That's no problem. This title seems to be okay. It's rather small. Sorry about that. And if you go through this, you can do any adjusting that needs to be done. Now, it doesn't do a perfect job, but if you work through it, okay, here uh, I have liabilities and equity. Okay, looks okay, but here it says liabilities and equity and accounts payable. I don't want all of that in there. So I'm going to delete the accounts payable part, and I'm going to say accept that, and then I'm going to go to the next one and the next one. I actually have to accept each one, so let me, let me just go through. If I don't accept them, all right, I don't really want that PG. I'm going to say accept. So I'm going to go back to the. Uh, I'm going to go back to the beginning. There's nothing there. I can accept that. And let me go back. Let me just go back to the beginning here, and get everything fixed. So I'm going to say accept. 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 I already fixed that liabilities and equity. And then I'll just say insert the data. It said one item wasn't uh, required review, but I'm going to insert it anyhow. And there it is. Okay, it's not perfect. Okay, there there are some mistakes. You may have to make some adjustments here. So total liabilities and equity. So let me let me put a space in here. Let me actually insert two spaces. And liabilities and equity is actually a separate um, subtitle. So I'm just going to cut that and put that here. And this was accounts payable. And the numbers are in number format. You can add them up, you can subtract them, you can do whatever you want. And let's see if I can. I can find my um, balance sheet and let's just take a quick look and see how it looks. Let me just slide this over here and we'll see how well it did. Okay, 100, 102, one f oops, I'm sorry, there we are, 100, 102, 10 and 40, 500 and 384, 1,000 and 774, all right, 16, 10 and 1,300. They just give you the number, so you may want to have these added up yourself. All right, so we'll just check a couple more numbers. Uh, let's see here. 
2,000, 1,780, 3,610, and 3,080. So it did really quite a good job of putting it in. If I typed this in myself, it would have taken quite a bit of time. And this is actually quite a bit more efficient. Now, again, you may have to do a little bit of adjusting as I did for the uh, liabilities and equity. Here, I'll just format it by, by uh, putting a bold face here and one for assets. And, you know, I may want to do a, a few other odds and ends to it, but overall, it's pretty good. And it's a really convenient way to get the data into Excel without having to type it in by hand.